when we speak about Uthman radiallahu ta'ala anhu, we're talking about the person that Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam says to his daughter Umm Kulthum radiallahu anha, who would be the wife of Uthman, that no man resembles more in physical appearance your father Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and your grandfather Ibrahim alayhi salam more than Uthman radiallahu ta'ala anhu. When you read his description that he was not too tall, not too short, that he had long curly black hair, a touch of redness to his face, broad shoulders, and a small gap between his teeth. These are the descriptions of the Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And he was so beautiful that Abdurrahman ibn Hazm radiallahu anhu, he says, I have never seen a man more beautiful in my life than Uthman radiallahu ta'ala anhu. Extremely handsome, extremely modest, to the point that it was said about him by, in, the, in the narration of Al-Hasan radiallahu ta'ala anhu, even when he's changing his clothes behind closed doors, he feels a sense of shyness. That when he gave bay'ah to the Messenger وسلم, with his right hand, he refused to ever use that right hand to touch his private parts again after that. That he was so humble in his talk, so modest and soft-spoken, that you would have to come so close to him just to hear what he was trying to tell you. So he didn't have a commanding voice, he had a very soft voice. Very soft-spoken individual. And the Messenger وسلم, who was known for his bashfulness, known for his haya admired Uthman radiallahu ta'ala anhu to the point that Aisha radiallahu anha narrates an incident that once the Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam was sitting down and he was reclining and part of his thigh was exposed sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and Abu Bakr radiallahu anhu walked in, he sat with the Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam did not sit up, he spoke with him, he left. Omar came in, he sat with the Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he spoke with him and then he left. And then Uthman radiallahu ta'ala anhu sought permission to come in. And Rasulullah sallallahu sat up and he covered himself and he made sure that he was proper. And Aisha radiallahu anha says, Ya Rasulullah, we know that Abu Bakr and Umar are more virtuous than Uthman. How come when they came in, you didn't sit up, you didn't fix yourself or anything in that regard. But when Uthman came in, you, you fixed yourself in that way. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said the very famous statement, أَلَا أَسْتَحِي مِنْ رَجُلٍ يَسْتَحِي مِنْهُ الْمَلَائِكَةِ تَسْتَحِي مِنْهُ الْمَلَائِكَةِ Shouldn't I be ashamed or shy from a man who even the angels are shy in his presence? Even the angels were shy in the presence of Uthman radiallahu ta'ala anhu. 